On May 12, 1988, Gina married Chi Ming Tsui at the Manila Cathedral. After the celebration of their marriage and wedding, they went to the house of Chi Ming Tsui's mother. I can wait to spend our honeymoon together and create a beautiful moment with you. Sorry, but can we do this next time? I'm so tired after our wedding celebration. I'm going to sleep right now. In an effort to have an Honan Imun, where they can enjoy together during their first week as a married they go to Baggio and Chi Ming Tsui invited his family. Family here. Why? We travel here so we can enjoy ourselves to us, maybe go home. said we're going to vacation, right? So I decided to bring my family and enjoy whatever. They go to the medical examinations to neurologist. The result of examination was Gina is healthy and still a virgin and her husband examination was confidential. Gina claims that her husband is a closet of homosexual. Sometimes she observed Chim Ming Tsui occasionally using her mother's makeup and she said that Chim Ming Tsui had only married her to keep her residency as a Filipino citizen. Ms. Chim Ming Tsui and Gina Lau, this is your medical examination. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Today, we present the legal battle between Chi Ming Tsui and Gina Lau, a couple whose marriage is on the brink of annulment. The issue at hand is whether Chi Ming Tsui is psychologically incapacitated, leading to the refusal to consummate their marriage. Oh. This is the case of Chi Ming Shui versus the Court of Appeals. The issue before us is whether Chi Ming Shui is psychology incapacitated leading to the annulment of his marriage to Jin Alaw. Your Honor, my client Chi Ming Shui has elementally denied any physiological incapacity. He loves his wife deeply and physically and psychologically ca capable of consummating their marriage. The delayed consummation was due, due to the circumstance, but their relationship is still young and can be reconciled. Your Honor, the evidence presented clearly that she shows Jimmy Choi displayed a senseless and protracted refusal to communicate the marriage. This behavior is indicative of a serious personality disorder. Amounting to psychological incapacity, it is not a matter of who refused, it is a matter of the refusal itself. Now, Mr. Chi Ming Choi, please state your position on this matter. Your Honor, I love my wife Gina deeply. I want to make clear that I have no physical or psychological issues that prevent from fulfilling my marital duties our marriage is still young and I believe any differences between us can be re recollected. Miss Lau, please present your side of this case. Your Honor, it's true that we have been consummated our marriage despite living together for almost 10 months. I believe my husband is impotent in my hiding motives for marrying me as a Filipino citizen. Dr. Alteza, please provide your expert opinion on this matter. Your Honor, I conducted a medical examination for Mr. Choi, which revealed he is physically capable of erection. He had sought 
erection during the examination, indicating a potential for further erection and sexual intercourse. Miss Lau, do you still maintain your claims regarding Mr. Choi's impotence and his motives for marriage? Your Honor, I believe my husband refused to engage his engaging in sexual relations. This is a sign of psychology incapacity. The trial court declared the marriage void, and the court of appeals affirmed the decision. They argued that the senseless and protracted refusal to consummate the marriage is equivalent to psychological incapacity. As the court deliberates, it's clear that the refusal to fulfill marital obligations, including procreation, is a critical factor in this case. After careful consideration of the evidence and arguments presented, this court finds that Mr. Chi Ming Choi's persistent refusal to consummate the marriage is indeed indicative of psychological incapacity within the meaning of Article 36 of the Family Code. With the court's ruling, the marriage between Chi Ming Tsui and Jin Lao is declared void. This case serves as a reminder that fulfilling marital obligations is essential in a marriage under the law. And thus, this legal drama concludes with a significant decision from the court. Thank you for joining us in this role-playing scenario of Kai Ming Tsui vs. the Court of Appeals.